Thank you very much. My name is Jeff McCauley, and I'm joined here with my co-founder, Jim Bowen, and I want to tell you about Energetic Insurance. We're developing a brand new insurance policy to expand the market for solar developers. So let's talk about that market. It's really an amazing growth trajectory. We're on track to reach $10 trillion worth of installed solar globally within the next decade. And thankfully, we have our friends at Google who have produced Google Project Sunroof to give us this very intuitive view of the solar market. This is a satellite image showing overlaid insulation for a city in the United States. And so what you can see here is there's a ton of buildings out there, and our market is when sunlight hits buildings that use electricity. Here's the problem, though. If you want to actually, if you're one of these businesses in one of those buildings, there's a greater than 90% chance that you cannot access the financing needed to go solar. So right now in the commercial segment, it's limited mostly to the Google, Facebook, Amazon, the, the Fortune 500 companies if they want to access solar. We want to change that. And it's not just for solar. The same barrier exists. And I've worked with top tier developers like SunPower in the solar industry, Nextera in wind, Tesla in storage, Bloom in fuel cells. The same problem exists in the commercial market. And the reason for that is all of these technologies are sold on long-term contract basis. That means the businesses are not paying cash to get the asset. In the case of solar, they're buying the electricity. Solar is sold mostly on a power purchase agreement. And over that 10 or 20 years, there are a number of risks that come into play. So across those multiple technologies, some still have technology risk. But in the case of solar, that's largely been worked out over the past several decades. So in the case of solar, you can buy insurance for whether or not the sun will rise. A lot of investors are OK with that risk. For the solar module, you can get a warranty, uh, or you can get an additional insurance wrapper. The biggest remaining risk in the commercial solar market is whether or not there will still be a buyer for the electricity. And there is no insurance product until the one that we're developing. So let's look at that. It's actually borne out in the data. When we look at the growth trajectory broken out across different industry segments, we see that commercial has been flat when compared to other solar segments, residential and utility. Both my co-founder and I have worked in this segment. We've faced the problem firsthand. And we recognize that this barrier, the off-taker risk, is the biggest barrier to adoption. So we believe with our product, we can bend that commercial curve up to the growth rate of the rest of the market. We're doing so in a lean insurtech business model where we can go to market without having insurance capital ourselves. We're partnering with the, some of the largest insurance companies to bring this product to market. Our customer is the solar developer. We know them very well. Our insured is the project itself, the solar project, either on an individual or portfolio basis. And we're bringing a brand new policy, advanced underwriting software, along with the sales and claims management to market. We've got an outstanding team. Um, as I mentioned, both uh, myself and my co-founder, Jim, have direct experience in this market. I'm an engineer by training and worked at Enronoc in software product development. Jim's a lawyer by training and has worked internationally on solar projects. We've both been amazingly active in this wonderful Boston energy ecosystem for the last 10 years. And we're joined by an amazing cast of support. Heidi Lawson um, is leading the insurance practice at Mintz Levin. She's been an investor and advisor from day one. Some of our uh, wonderful interns are here, Vinny Harini and Chinghui. If you're out there, thank you. And um, lastly, we're backed by some amazing organizations. Uh, we're housed in the DCU FinTech Incubator. And we've recently received 800K in a Department of Energy Sunshot Award, along with some uh, wonderful angel investors on both the East and West Coast. Thank you very much.